where you feel like you're a channeling thing, you feel like you're a, you're a, you're you're an instrument of something else coming through you. Yeah. I think Joyce describes this. Uh, there's this sense, a feeling of enchantment of the heart, and he's describing to a, a, a friend, Stephen Dedalus, is describing how do you know? Let's he takes an object like a basket. Yeah. And he says, how do we know a basket is a basket and not a, anything else? And he, yeah. des- and he describes its form. He describes, you know, it's that it's this kind of philosophical so question, and. Um, and he says, now, if once we have conceived of this object that is purely itself, there is this thing that happens, this enchantment of the heart, um, something that is not only itself in like a material sense, but itself in a, in a psychic, yeah. you know, uh, conceptual sense, this collective idea. of It's of, almost beyond know. conceptual, isn't it? I- exactly. Because we sure do a good job of creating barriers between the enchantment of the heart and what it is that we actually experience. Yeah, yeah. No, totally. There's all of these processes by which it gets abstracted and, and separated from, etc. But I think there's something that happens when a, a, a song comes into you or an idea comes into you. And this, this for me, it could be a couplet. It could be two lines. It could be a, a series of lines. It could be the experience of... It could be a, a, the tiniest little minute element of a, of a memory. And there's something, I would describe it as embryonic. Mm. It feels like something is is so its potential is enormous you don't know what the limitations of this song is is yet but you know that here is a seed mm. that is starting to germinate and its limbs haven't grown yet it hasn't it hasn't quite figured out what its final form is going to be but the kernel the core of it is so absolute and so undeniable that here, some something, some element of experience has manifested into an idea that can be captured into something new. And when I say it's embryonic, it hasn't finalized its form yet. In fact, it hasn't even begun. But and it's looking for a steward. It's, it's looking, looking for looking for, mm. for pathways, things to, to find its way. And there is a mourning process. There's nearly a, and this is what I think in the past has taken me so long to write songs because I'm, I'm sorrowful when it can't be everything. So in that moment, you're like, oh, but it could have, it could also, this, it could resonate with this idea or it could, it could, it could also bring, bring, bring into it mm. this and mm. how that resonates mm. with this. There's a sadness that comes in a little bit as you watch as the song also has to be a four minute piece, you know, or a three and a half minute piece or something like that. And you were, and you were realizing it can't be all things. It has to, I have to put this feeling into language. Powerful, powerful observation that. I mean, if anyone's, the people who are listening to this or watching this right now, <clears throat> so 